Dead Stranding is Hideo Kojima's most awaited project after leaving Konami. So being a Metal Gear uh, Solid fan, malaki ang aking expectation with Dead Stranding. Hi, this is Demigod Christie, and here is my Tagish Pinoy review of uh, Dead Stranding. Before we begin, we publish gaming content every day, so like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification button so you'll be informed whenever we up upload a new video. And of course, a spoiler alert. Coming in from the Metal Gear hype, the expectations I have are the following. It, or it has good uh, storyline and movie cutscenes, it should have great gameplay and high repeatability. There of course are some hit and misses in that stranding for me and it is a combination of both that made me decide on my personal scoring for the Dead Stranding game. Great storyline. What I like is that here Kojima did not disappoint. The story revolves around a post-apocalyptic earth nearing an extinction event. So far, the earth has five extinction events. And the earth is now facing its sixth. And it may end the human race as we know it. It is also hinted that the Death Stranding may be involved in early extinction events in the past. As expected, Death Stranding is full of twists in the story that may caught you partially and fully surprised. The Death Stranding story and movie casting places you in a good sci-fi, a movie which you could really relive feel you are, and uh, feel you are part of. What I do not like with the Death Stranding is... No! God, please, no! 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 Although the story was great, some scenes, especially the dramatic ones, were forced. I love you, Sam. Parang pinipilit ka ng miyak, since like mama giving birth and trapped in rubble. Can someone help me, please? Or you nag reconcile si mama with her estranged twin. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Maybe because the character was not well built, so that wala kang personal connection with them. I like the Red Dead when you felt your heart break when Arthur died. I gave you all I had. I did. I think I'm a tiny kabayo nya. It really broke uh, my gamer heart. Like, ouch. Come on, brother. Let's go. Give me a second. Come on! Push Arthur! Thank you. There were also odd comedic scenes that was close, if not cringy at best. I know Mokojima was in close relations with some of the actors or character actors. And uh, he inserted some scenes for puns. Uh, apparently this should have been kept in between them, like private. It actually left a sour taste instead of improving the, my gaming experience. As champion, I will not let the most thing I hate the game. It's we just ask, why did Kojima play shower scenes that you need to watch again and again? Like, mga pre, get a room. If Kojima has a man crush on videos, he should keep it in his pants. Don't force us, the gamers, to all of his ass when it is not really needed in the game or the story. On its gameplay, let me say, I read a lot of reviews bago ako nalaro ang game, both positive and negative. So I reserve my opinion after I played and completed the game para ma to really give a a personal gamer experience or a review of the game and it took a while thousand years later and the reason why it took a while 
much because of the gameplay. It is what it is. Just delivering. You work as a delivery man for bridges. Arang Gachel, Azada, Shopee. In an extinction event. It is compared with the current pandemic, the COVID, but it's way too different. The whole landscape is empty with the occasional encounter with mules, beach things brought about by the time fall, and the battle of field encounters with hunger. And they are way too repetitive. In the most sudden boss fights, though, there are no strategies even uh, systems or cycles you need to memorize even the BT encounters uh, have become very boring in fact pwede mo sila ang takbuhan tapos ma matatapos na uh, okay na these are the fillers in between the movie cutscenes and it's just walking from point A to point B kaya tumagal bago ko natapos ang laro nito it's way boring in between now, in its repeatability, as I've said, this is a boring gameplay. Eventually, its uh, gameplay leaked into its repeatability of the game. Unlike its predecessors uh, that made Kojima great, like Metal Gear, it was action-packed and strategic. Even the stealth mode of the game was very interesting. That is why I repeated the Metal Gear games again and again. The franchise was a good combination of a good gameplay and story writing. Now that actually drew me into Death Stranding, you know, knowing it, it's from Kojima, which also caused my disappointment. The story was good, but in between are just deliveries, deliveries, and another deliveries, boring deliveries. Now, for me to repeat the entire game is way an ordeal. Kung gusto kong mapanood yung story niya or story cutscenes, I'll just watch a YouTube video and then that's it. Why waste hundreds of hours, waste my time repeating a delivery game when there are other new games like Resident Evil and Final Fantasy remakes. Even old games like RDR2 or Days Gone na worth repeating. I would not repeat this game even if my life, life depends on it. Nung natapos ko na, binenta ko na agad yung game. I sold it. I mean, it's a closed book and then that's it. I gave it a try. I gave it a shot. Now, for this reason, even if I'm a great Kojima Metal Gear fan, I gave this Kojima experiment a 3.5 over 5. I know tastes are relative, I would not recommend this game for new players. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time. Again, this is Demi God, Christy, and thank you for watching. Have a good one.